Today I'm going to show you guys some of the stationery that I picked up from Loft. So if you guys don't know, Loft is a very large lifestyle department store here in Japan. Other than Don Quixote and also Muji, which is also another lifestyle type of department store. What I like about Loft and what I go to Loft most often for is more like beauty health items as well as stationery. So this time I had recently run out of space on my last year's planner because usually Japanese planners, they end around March because the new school year usually starts around April so I had run out of space on my previous one. Last year I was using these two and on top of this I also used Google Calendar. Basically it's just a calendar and the other half of this planner is just note taking. I thought I'd use this one because this one would have been easier for me to plan out my monthly videos and schedules and things like that but what ended up happening was that I tend to like to scribble down notes and ideas as well. I always use a notebook so this wasn't this wasn't a new thing and I love the grid style notebooks here because you can basically make it into any kind of thing that you want and then you have like a reference to draw straight lines and things like that so this is really really useful and then of course to plan my daily schedule with time with all the hours written out I would use Google Calendar with that this time I went with this this one is by the company Daigo and I wasn't really picking out planners by the covers of them so this is pretty plain so this one is a little bit different it kind of incorporates both the note taking aspect that I really like about my notebooks with the calendar so right here as you can see there is the calendar here they show you just every single day with the hours uh, written out the space is quite tiny for it but next to it they provide a note taking space but what I like about this one even though this is not a grid style notebook like my other notebook I had noticed that they had this sort of cross thing right here where it kind of marks out the center of the page. This reminds me of that sort of note-taking technique where you can put all your urgent things on this side and then non-urgent things on this side and then important things and not so important things on the bottom. Like for people who have trouble with prioritizing their, their schedules and things to do, this sort of way of making notes is really easy to understand. In the very very back, they do have a grid section so I mean this was just everything I was looking for combined into one planner. I think Japan especially a lot of stationery is very very well thought out and very very detailed and also there's a design aspect on top of it so there's tons of planners to choose from. I think it took me about an hour like sifting through all of the planner styles and coming out with this one even though it's not like super super cute the inside of it and the size of it and just like all the aspects of the note taking part of it really really matches what I would want to do for this year. So I picked up this one to try out for 2017. And next I picked up this. It's the friction pen with a pen case over here. Something that I was looking for because as you can see I've been shoving my friction pens in the spine and it's been like breaking up my notebook. I was looking for a better way to keep my pen with my notebook. This was perfect. This is just a band that goes across your notebook or your planner and you could put your pen into the strap. Usually for my friction pens, because I've been using uh, friction pens for a while now, and usually for this three colored one, I don't really like the generic black, blue, and red so what I usually do is pick up three colors that I do like and on the same size so this one is size 0.38 and so I picked up the size 0.38 in the three colors that I wanted but usually what I do is for black I put in purple for red I put in pink and for the blue I put in a light blue color and my notes just kind of look brighter I just like having a little bit pastel colors in my notebooks. So lately I've been using a lot of masking tape and I was actually thinking it would have been great if I could stick a masking, not a roll of masking tape, but like a flat masking tape dispenser thing in my planner. 
and I don't even know that they sell these but I was looking for them anyways and they actually do sell them. this these are not post-its these are masking tapes and they're just like they're layered on and then all you do is just fold it and put it into the pocket of your planner and then you're all set to go I like using these because I find like random notes and sometimes I need to literally just tape some stuff together especially if I'm like shooting sometimes I need to tape um, some paper across the lights and recently when I started YouTube I started needing more and more tape for some reason. It was such a coincidence that they had this available and I just picked a little bit of a cute patterned one. Also you could use masking tape to kind of highlight things in your calendar. I really like masking tape recently. They also had a dispenser for the masking tape. This one is a little bit different than scotch tape dispensers and this one apparently cuts in a straight line like scissors and I just thought that I might have one on hand for when I'm shooting. It's just easier than having to like peel off the tape every single time and using my hands to rip it. I also picked up a really cute patterned masking tape as well. This one has macarons on it and it reminds me a lot of La Dure because it has that sort of pastry and a little bit of, of a French sort of sketchy art book type of look. So I don't use masking tape for art very much but this is just for me to make me smile when I'm like putting up things. Next, I kind of picked up a couple things that are not really so much for the usefulness than for its quirkiness and its design. These are also masking tape but I've never seen this before. This is Sakura Petal Masking Tape. It's by the company Bande and Basically, it's just sak sakura petals, just like separate pieces of sakura petals that you can peel off along the roll and just stick things with it. I just thought that masking tape, you know, since I've been using it a lot anyways, I might as well use some of the cuter ones as well. This one, I thought that it might be cute for when I'm like writing letters or like doing more gifting options. I thought that this one would be cute. They are separate pieces so you don't have to cut them as well. So that's maybe a convenient point about this. Um, but other than that, I just love the look of the sakura petals and it's just really cute in general. So I just picked this one up. And then I picked up this one. This one is a cat that you can change its clothes. It has three rolls in here. It has cat head and then there its body and then its feet and there's like different types of clothing and styles and different cat heads here. Yeah, I just thought this was super cute and I know a friend who loves cats and I literally just picked this up because I wanted to give this to my friend. I think that she belongs with it so <laughs> it's really it's not even like a birthday or anything like that it looks like this was made for her so there's that kitty cat masking tape so that's all the stationery that i picked up from loft and now i feel kind of excited and ready to start my new my new year which is starting in april and being able to plan more efficiently and do all my note taking in one notebook i'm super excited about that please let me know if any of these things seemed interesting to you leave all your comments down below i definitely do read all of them thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye